Hello once again everybody, Twilight Prince123 here, and let's play some more Zelda Classic Randomizer. So let's see. Wow, we found 13 items on the overworld already. Not a bad start. Let's see, I believe now we should get the first Triforce piece now. And considering that we only have one level one variation that we have yet to finish, we know exactly where it is. So, we're gonna start this off by playing level 4-1. Let's see. I'm trying to just recap everything I have here. So, I do have the magic book and I got the power bracelet as well, which is overall very nice. Power bracelet should be able to help me find some other secrets. Glad I made notes because level four should be right here. Four one, that is. Apparently, four one is shaped like a bomb. All right. Also, I apologize if the music is a little bit quiet. Some of the music in the quest just kind of is, and hey, there's a way to go. And another Aqua Menace to kill. Not a problem at all. Yeah, that's Donkey Kong Land music. Hmm. It's good to see some. Uh, actually, good to see some more Donkey Kong Land music. It's actually quite underrated. Okay, <laughs> it's quite actually quite underrated. I was beginning to think, uh, can I actually cross those spikes or not? And apparently, yes, I can. Not sure what I. Oh, I picked up the compass. Okay. Nothing that way. Don't think there would be anything down here, but. Nope. Alright. So this was just the way to the compass. Again, I'm pretty much uh, walking this dungeon blind because I've never played the fourth quest. Alright, we can go that way. We're, let's go down the passageway first. Alright, this leads to the boss. With, judging by the sound of it, it sounds probably like it's going to be a, a Dodongo, which would actually fit the theme of this place pretty well. But unfortunately, we do not have the boss key yet. here and nothing up here somebody's rolling something outside it's kind of loud oh well not my problem uh -huh, one of these straight line paths Okay, yeah, I do have a hammer, so I can use that on Dark Nuts if I wanted to. More bombs, always helpful. Whoa, Nelly! Hmm, the boss is right above us, so I doubt I could bomb my way into him, into there, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. Go down here, though. A lot of bombable passages in here, but then again, what do you expect of a level that's supposedly shaped like a bomb? Any of these pushable? Let's see. And that is a nope. Oh, okay, that takes us over here. I'm running out of bombs, though. Mm, yeah, but that's a dead end. It's kind of a waste. But good to know, nonetheless, that leads to a dead end. 
This doesn't look dead end ish, though. Checking for any other passages. My problem is, is that I'll be out of bombs if I use this last one. Yeah, I'll save it. Let's see where this goes. Okay, one of these guys had better drop some bombs, otherwise I'm gonna be going anywhere. Hmm. I think that might just have been a dead end. Let's see here. I'm trying to think here. I really need those some more bombs. There's gonna be some more enemies around here that drop them. I haven't gotten down yet, so let's trade it down. Alright. More level one Gibdos, as I call them. Either there is a way to get through there from above, or I'm missing something. Because I already set a bomb there and there was nothing. There's a passageway in here. No? Hmm. I think I need to go out and buy, actually get some more bombs, or maybe even buy some. Or I can just grab some from these guys. If they drop any. Nine bombs should be sufficient to get where I need to go. So let's try this again. All right, so that's apparently not the way to do it. I thought so. Alright. What do we got in here? More dark nuts. That are easily getting killed, thank you, clock. And there's our map. Alright. Yep, yeah, it's definitely shaped like a bomb, alright. Alright, so... There's apparently rooms over there that I do not have access to. Let's keep looking around and see if we can't find any more passages to... I haven't gotten this way yet. I bet you something's hidden in here, but... I'll wait a moment and let's see what's over in these rooms.
Hang on, let's see what's down here first. Ah, there's the boss key. Alright. So... There was a secret passage in here, so let's take it. Ah, oh, the Lens of Truth! Well, this will definitely make finding things a little bit easier. Very nice, very nice to find. But I have a feeling there might be another hidden passageway. I bet you it's in here. And I bet I'm right. <laughs> I haven't gone up to those two rooms yet, but let's see what's in here really quick. Oh, that leads up to, well, the fuse, as I call it. <laughs> You know what would be really nice for me to get in the game right now? The blue ring. Or I could get this here. This is a magic ring. This will slowly replenish my magic. Which, paired up with the fact that I got the, the lens of truth right now, that's actually pretty good. So, really quickly, let's see. Uh, lens and magic ring one. And 2 to 1 says that we're we are going to get the Triforce in here. So, just check those last two rooms, and then I'd say we'll be good to go. Well, one of the rooms is the boss room, but let's see what this upper room gives us. Mm, just a useless hint. this, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll head to level 4 of the first quest and get that out of the way. Uh, where was the way to the boss? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this was it. Let's light this candle. Or light this fuse, whichever. <laughs> Bet it's a Dodongo, and yep. But this time, I can actually do it the right way. If I would have timed the bomb fuse right. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see another heart piece, and of course, there's our Triforce. Alright, level 4 1 is done. Have we done the third quest, level three? I don't think we have. Let me see. We need to find a way to back into the light world so we can do level three. Do level three one. Or one three, whichever it is. Well, I'm actually kind of curious. Is there anything down this way? something here. Ooh, magic container. That means more Lens of Truth usage. What about here? Mm, how about now? Even though it's rather cheap information, but yeah. Let's see, I believe it was north and then west south, and of course west. Ow. I do distinctly remember that there was something on this screen, so... Yep, there's something here, alright. 
we have level... F we have the fifth level of the fourth... of the fourth quest, so... Low graveyard. And of course they have to put... <laughs> Castlevania music, of course. Well, at least it's good Castlevania music. <laughs> Then again, there's very little Castlevania music that isn't good, I suppose. I wonder if I can actually get the magic sword right now. Or if it's even there, for that matter. Let's see. Well, it's no magic sword, but it will help in the long run, at least. And hey, we're back in the light overworld. Sweet. I suppose while we're up here... We could do level 6, but then again, I don't have the bow and arrow, so I can't take out Goma. See, this is kind of the obstruction I have here. Uh, there are certain- there won't be- there will be certain enemies and bosses I won't be able to take out until I'm, you know, until I have certain- certain items. Huh, I could have sworn there was a potion shop around here. This is new. But hey, it's a magic container. I'll take it. That's one of the shortcuts we can take with the power bracelet. Speaking of which, I wonder what's in the power bracelet's place. Or did we already check that? I'm not entirely sure. Kind of forgot to go back and look. Yeah, we've already been here. Alright. I've already been here. I remember, I, yeah, I distinctly remember now, we were actually up here exploring the mountains a little bit. In the mountains. Oh! <laughs> I think I might have found another level. And I did. I found level 4-8, the raft. 4-8, so level 8 of the fourth quest is... Let's see, we'll just put above Armos. Alright, we'll come back to that later, and look, we're back in the Dark Overworld with a very nasty Lionel. I would not give for a blue ring right now. That's... Anything in here? Eh, more bombs. More bombs is good. We're heading up towards Death Mountain, so might want to be careful. Those level three Lionels pack up nasty wallop. Let's see what's in here. Eh, I'll take that later. Probably forget that he was even there, but oh well. Let's get past all these rocks. No, wonder what one of these push. Yes, they do. Another magic container. Well, at least I'm getting plenty of magic so I can use my lens and the spell book. Don't think there's anything on this screen. Except for a very deadly line. Ow! Ugh. God, those guys hurt. Jeez. Oh well. Anyways. Well, we pretty much we pretty much know what's up there anyway, so, yeah, that's... That's level 9 of the original. It did say that a boulder near the start actually has a secret. So far, I'm not seeing it. Fifteen items so far on the light overworld. Not bad. Oh, 
Oh. Didn't know this was here. Another potion shop. I kind of wonder, do potions stack in this game or not? Yes, they do. Good. Alright, a red potion would be very nice right now. I digress, though. Let's uh, go and take care of level... Th uh, Level three of the first quest. Oh wait, have we already taken care of level three one? Yes, we have actually already taken care of level three of the first quest. What am I saying? <laughs> Instead, let's do level four of the first quest. Uh, I do have the raft, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so what the heck? There we go. All right, let's take care of here, the snake. Let's see what we can get in here. I can't believe I'm actually carrying 13 keys. <laughs> That's something, all right. I don't think I have anything that can one-shot these guys. Let's try the magic. Okay, I did not know I left fire trails behind when it hits enemies. It also does three bolts, unlike the previous two. Hmm, it's kind of cool. Wait, I saw an arrow. What do we have in here? <laughs> wow, I'm just getting so much magic now. This is awesome. I think I nearly have the full magic meter, meter in all honesty. One more and should do that should actually do the trick. Alright, so I pretty much know a little one four, like uh like the back of my hand. Oh what the he Oh dear. New whiz robes. Slightly weaker on the offense, but we got new tricks. Okay, so we have whiz robes that shoot fireballs instead of uh, instead of magic. Hmm. One of them even shoots them in eight directions. Hmm. That's rather interesting. right. Sweet. I like this magic book in all honesty. It's a lot more useful than the, you know, this is actually pretty useful, much more useful than the wand, if not for the fact that it actually takes magic to require, to use, but oh well. Anyway, so let's see what our treasure for level 4 is. It's the bow! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now just let me find some arrows. <sighs> thank you. All I need now are arrows. And I'm sitting pretty. Oh, yes. See, I think the map's in here, but yeah, it's over there. Just gonna have to go around to get it. I kinda like the music choice for here though. Kinda spooky. Oh, more of you guys, huh? I like those eight way firing, uh. firing wizards robes though. At least as long as they fire something that's blockable. Well, like me, I actually made a bomb robe that shot into eight directions. Thankfully, you only encounter them once per, you know, you only encounter them, like, in my, in the, in the den of evil, but they, they only appeared in singles, and for good reason. 
Money, 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 money. Might as well explore the whole dungeon. Oh, it's you again. I know how to, I know how to take care of you. Okay, I'm seriously running low on health. I'm tempted to do the entire uh, speed up thing again. In fact, why the heck not? I need to recharge my magic anyways. Huh. The health recharges a little faster than the magic one does. We zoom 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Alright. I know that already, thank you. Let's try going up. Well, there's the boss key, which I would need anyways, so. So I wonder. Okay, that just opens the door to go back. Now we all know who's the boss here. It's old Gliok again. I do have a potion, so I'll use it if necessary. Why use a sword when you can use a gem shooter to kill a dragon? And that's two. Alright, so what do we get? Another heart container! Awesome! And that checks off level 1-4. Alright, I'm actually gonna split off this part right here, so I will be right back. <laughs>